Just finished up with a great day here at Balahawk Airsoft, kicking off the 2014 season. Decided to do a quick loadout video. All right, so today I decided to run my KWA CQR with the Tokyo Marui tracer unit right there. Uh, the woods are starting to fill in with vegetation and stuff this time of the year, so in my opinion, the way that I play, mobility is a little bit more important than range. It worked out really well for me today. Uh, starting from the bottom, like you guys know I love to do, I've got Rocky S2Vs, uh, really mudded up today. Uh, these are kind of old. <clears throat> my tread's starting to wear down. I'm gonna get some new ones pretty soon. Working up from there, I've got these hatch knee pads that I've had since like probably 2002, 2003. They've definitely <laughs> run past their prime. It's time for some new ones, but they don't make the hatch the same the way, way anymore, so I'm gonna have to look for some different knee pads, actually. Running some hatch gloves today with leather on the inside, really good for grip and retention. I don't even know if they make these anymore. But if I'm not running those hatch gloves, I'll run Camelback Mechanics gloves. They're made by Camel Camelback, they're called Mechanics. Ran the OD Shima, worked really well. It was warm today, but I wear it in the heat anyway. I got a Blackhawk Serpa drop leg holster. The reason I run the Blackhawk, just real quick, is because it has two points of retention up here. So I put this retainer in front of this belt loop and this retainer behind this belt loop. And for that reason, it doesn't move around on my leg. A lot of time you see guys running these drop leg rigs all the way down at their knee, they're flopping all over the place. This stays in place really well for me. And I'm using these Serpa quick detach systems because if I have to jump into a vehicle for whatever reason, or if I'm playing and I know that I'm gonna be kind of on the ground a lot more than maybe normally I would be, I can put this right up here. But the biggest thing is so I can get in and out of the vehicle and this is really easy access for me up right here. Now the reason why the Serpa is great is because this just unclips right here. So you can roll up to the game with your retainers right on your belt to start off with. So here's my tactical vest. I'm running a Black Hawk Omega 6 tactical vest. And the reason why I run this over a plate carrier is because to give you a little bit of history of my background in airsoft, I started off with Alice gear, as I'm sure a lot of people that started playing airsoft around the time that I did, did as well. And then these tactical vests started to move in and the benefit of a tactical vest over the Alice gear is that your pouches and stuff stay a lot more in a single position and with Alice gear the stuff really moves around. This vest makes it so that I can carry a lot of stuff because I like to carry about nine mags on my person during a game because I run either low caps or mid caps. I never run a high cap. I don't like to wind mags, it's just not realistic. I enjoy reloading. So this holds all the mags that I needed to hold, but it also kind of keeps the weight down. Um, I got into plate carriers for a while, but I've never used a minimalist plate carrier, so the large plate carrier that I had been using just wasn't giving me the weight savings that I needed and I couldn't breathe in it. Wearing this tactical vest, I can get a full breath so my tidal volume is the best it can possibly be and I run a lot during games so for me the added benefit of having armor per se wasn't worth the lack of mobility that I had and the lack of ability to breathe so I went back to the Omega 6 tackle vest that works great I got um, Viking Tactics magazines for my magazine magazine cases sorry um, I got a Viking Tactics accessory pouch it's padded so I can put electronics here. I usually carry spare batteries. This is where I put my important stuff. This is a Leatherman Mutt. Really great for you guys um, who are interested in this for a real steel system. It works great. I'll do a review on this at some other time. But it's great to have a Leatherman with you. And I run a Camelback under my arm. A lot of people run them over the arm, but they tend to get snagged on vegetation and stuff. This is just way more out of the way for me. I run my comms onto my back. They run through this, so it's all one system. I can take it off really easily. I really enjoy wearing these armor shirts because they're just way more comfortable than the traditional BDUs. And, uh, 
I've got a Maxpedition Roly Poly dump pouch. I like this because when you're not using it, or if you don't want to use it for a game or whatever, it folds away into a very small package. And it does so very easily. And I can hold six magazines in here with no problem. So I'm constantly reorganizing my magazines during the game. Um, the last thing I'd really like to talk to you guys about is this 511 Tactical Operator Belt. This is phenomenal. If you're going to run a drop leg, I really suggest you get a belt that is designed to run a drop leg. You can see that this is regular nylon right here. But over here and on the rest of the belt, there is a plastic insert that makes this incredibly rigid. So once you get it on yourself, it forms like a ring around your waist so that your belt doesn't start moving with your keepers right here. It stays all up really nice. It's the best system for a drop leg that I've used so far. All right, guys, that's my loadout for two, early 2014. I'll keep you updated as the season goes on and probably do one at the end of the season. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it with your friends. Thanks. I'm Doc. You're watching Dr. Nelson.